Hey guys, I just got a question about fasting and I thought I'd share my answer on uh, the, the Dr. Matt channel um, because it's a great question and a lot of people have this question and it's about fasting. And the question was, should I go on a 10 day water fast? Um, I can let you look that up if you want to know more about it, but the, the, the name of it is pretty self-explanatory. You would eat no food or just anything other than water for 10 days. So the question is, should I do this? Short answer, no. In my opinion, no. I am not a big fan of just water fasts for several reasons. First, your body needs micronutrients in order to detoxify. So it would be presumed then that a 10 day water fast, it would be presumed in a 10 day water fast that you had all the micronutrients and you were at proper levels of all of those things. What do I mean by that? Minerals, B vitamins, methylation ingredients. What is methylation? It's one of the ways in which your liver detoxes. Um, a really good microbiome that, that helps keep the uh, homeostasis in your whole body. That kind of stuff needs to be in place and solid anyway. So any fast, especially a water fast, that doesn't sort of have you prepped and ready can actually be pretty detrimental. So that's reason one. Number two, when you go that long without eating, a couple of things can happen. Your adrenal glands, which are part, the sort of the, the adrenal glands are glands or tiny organs that sit on top of your kidneys. Adrenal, adrenal, renal means kidney, ad means above. Adrenal glands, tiny little maybe walnut shape size or bigger that sit on top of your kidneys and they are in a deep, intimate relationship with your hypothalamus, your pituitary, your thyroid, um, your thymus gland, your, your pancreas, and your gonads. And, and it's, they're part of this dance of helping you um, adapt to stress. I mean, there's, there's a number of different hormones, aldosterone, cortisol, uh, adrenaline. There's a couple important things that are happening there, but mostly, mostly they're geared at helping you adapt to stress. And so if someone's coming into this fast already a little bit stressed, it's going to amp either already hypervigilant adrenal glands up or it's going to take already tired adrenal glands down. All of that has spillover effects in really limiting and blocking um, your ability of your liver and your gut to detoxify properly. Really, because people are people want to fast for a lot of different reasons and all those reasons are super cool. They want to feel healthier, they want to lose weight, they have a sense that maybe there's just like some gunk and buildup, but I just don't think it's the best way to go. I also, and I mean no disrespect to people who've had great benefits, because the fact is people do get benefit from this stuff. The third point though, and I think this speaks to the people who get benefit from it, is that to do those fasts well, in my opinion, you need to be in a pretty pristine, ecological and energetic environment. Here's what I mean. Like, I live in a really relaxed place out in the Rocky Mountains, but still, you know, I have two kids and, and I have a busy patient load. Like, I wouldn't want to do a juice fast with all of that going on. Why? Because your body has to have these adaptive reserves. You can see a blog I wrote about gas, general adaptive supply. The point being is, if you're already busy, like, worrying about your kids and, like, working on your business or, or you got Zoom meetings all day, it's not a good time to be not eating anything because your body's stress response is going to be going up and your adaptive response, more often than not, unless you are in super good health, is going to be coming down. Now, if you were like in this eco village with no electromagnetic pollution, just with like super pristine nature and no stress and no kids to worry about and no phones to check, and no news to check, and no like, you know, kind of the constant barrage a lot of us have been under during the pandemic. You don't have any of that. It would be a better environment, a better milieu in which to support. The macro environment is gonna support the micro environment. That's not most people. So if you're gonna do a fast, I highly recommend doing it when you have time to really let your body rest and rest deeply. And you can meditate two or three times a day and you can do gentle yoga and you can really sit. And then when the emotional stuff that comes up with a fast, because it will, you've got the time to process that. You know, you're just, you're not worried about all the things. So in my next video, I'll talk about simple ways to detox every day.
But for now, I don't love hard, intense fasts. Last point I wanna make. Just, you know, it's so good to do anything. It's good, do everything with intention. Have an intention and a purpose for everything you do. And before embarking on anything, especially like a major health thing, just get clear on what you really want. Write that down. I wanna feel whole, I wanna feel vibrant, I wanna feel vital, I want to reduce my cholesterol, I want to balance my blood sugar, I wanna lose 10 pounds, I wanna have a spiritual experience. It's, it's all good, just write it down. Because what you want may not exactly match up with the mechanism that you have chosen. So in this case, from what I'm understanding what this person wants, which is really to feel good and detoxify her body, the 10 day water fast is simply not the best match for that person. So you see that? So you can look at the intention and then you can find the right tool for you, whether it's on your own or you can talk to somebody like me. And it just, it'll save you lots of pain and trouble. So get clear on who you wanna be, like what you're really going after, then find the right thing. And I would, you know, look, I mean, here I am. I'm a social media, I'm actually not very much of a social media influencer or a teacher, but here I am teaching on YouTube. You have to be really uh, discerning about who you listen to online. I mean, it's like everything in life, right? So just, there's lots of fads that come and go. There's lots of um, ideas come and go and influencers can make things look a lot more inflated and shiny than they actually are. And that's just life, right? So. Just be wise, be discerning. I don't like two, three, or 10 day water fasts. And um, yeah, so that's it. I hope you guys have a great day.